The chief psychiatric resident at Yale University, Amanda Calhoun, recently told Joy Reid it's okay to cut off family members if they voted for Trump and tell them, I'm not going to be around you this holiday. Oh, how pure. You know who I really wouldn't want to have Thanksgiving dinner with? This overly educated, i.e. extremely stupid, ivory tower academic. But I would, because if we ever want this nation to heal, this is what we have to do. Push, I think just a societal norm that if somebody is your family, that they are entitled to your time. And I think the answer is absolutely not. So if you are going to a situation where you have family members, where you have close friends who you know have voted in ways that are against you, like what you said, against your livelihood, and it's completely fine to not be around those people and to tell them why, you know, to say, I have a problem with the way that you voted because it went against my very livelihood and I'm not going to be around you this holiday. I need to take some space for me. Yes. When you look at a lady like this, what is your first thought? I don't agree with being her frequently, but sometimes it is important to look into some of these videos. I didn't want to react on this clip, but it is important we look into it. This lady came out like you should cut off your family members if they voted for Trump. Mm. I didn't see this when Obama won. I didn't see this when Biden won. I did not see that. Why all it now? This is not even the first time Trump is winning. Trump won and everything went well. So I don't get the point why this time it is like this. People take this kind of advice. I've seen Libras putting out videos encouraging this. I told my mom and dad that because they voted for someone who wants me dead, that they no longer have the privilege of having their daughter and their granddaughters in their life. And I told them never contact me again. I'm never calling you. I want nothing to do with you. And take me out of the will. I have a younger brother who is also a MAGA. I said, when you guys pass away, give him the entire house. I don't want to inherit your house. I don't want anything from you. I don't want to hear from you ever again because I'm no longer safe being in a relationship with you because I'm queer, I'm autistic, I'm like half disabled. <laughs> I have lines and pots and a bunch of other shit. And I'm bisexual, I have two daughters, and my husband's also bisexual. It's like, <laughs> I'm no longer safe with people like you. You'd be the first ones to turn me into the schnazis if shit went down here. So I just, and to anyone in the comments that's gonna say, oh my God, that's so terrible. The left is so hateful. You guys shouldn't be cutting off your family. You know what, I'm not gonna go to Thanksgiving dinner with my family and look them in the eye and, and just, play nice anymore like I'm done doing this I have been gaslit and neglected and <laughs> verbally abused by my family for being different my entire life and I've cut off all my aunts and uncles anyone who voted for Trump anyone who's a Christian <laughs> in my family I know they voted for Trump so I have like three people <laughs> in between my I have two people on my mom's side and one person on my dad's side left and their cousins because, yeah, and I I have my husband, I have my two daughters, and that's all I need. I, I'm not going to be gaslit, and I'm not going to be gaslit anymore. I'm done living this life. So, good riddance, bye. Yes, tell me how a country can heal with this type of things. Someone... Is the advising people on the national television like they should cut off family members like a joke? People are watching you, millions of them, and some take up the advice. This person is coming out to say, Oh, I no longer want to interact with my fam family members. I don't want to see them. Even reaching to a certain level, like if they pass away, she will never pass there. Mm. I don't know if there's other reasons or just because they voted for Trump and she went further to talk about Christians. If you're a Christian, she doesn't want to interact with you. People are rightfully alarmed. They have a reason to be alarmed. And if, if, if you would vote 
for that. People may not feel so confident that they're safe with you. This is not crazy. This is legitimate feelings of fear of you and a feeling that you might not be someone they could trust. If this thing goes way south, autocracies go south real fast and things get ugly and people get asked to do things and turn people in and point people out and and turn on them. And if, if you're voting affirmatively, gleefully for this, and people might, I don't know, may not feel so confident in you anymore. That's real and you kind of have to live with it. So if you think that you can vote for what people see as their destruction and then demand that they still are cool with you and kiki with you and have Thanksgiving with you, like, I think you're kind of missing the point <laughs> of what people are upset about. They're afraid. And autocracy and fascism are things that are legitimate to be afraid of. So you may want to step back. You should know better why it is important to encourage Elon Musk to buy up MNBC so people like this should stop all this hate. Joy Reid will continue to spew it on TikTok, like I see, on daily basis, but at least it will reduce. I posted a video a few hours ago where Elon Musk announced that he's willing to buy up this network because soon Comcast want to say it out. Trump administration officials have been sending babies and other young children <laughs> to at least three <sighs> Can we put up the graphic of this? Thank you. Do we have it? No. Three tender age shelters. Live in Virginia. Immigration was the number one issue. <laughs> yes. Accor I mean, again, these could change in, in Virginia. Well, Virginia does have a border with West Virginia. <laughs> very, very contested area. Thinking, Build a wall. Like, what? I was just reading something about CNN's ratings <laughs> and MSNBC's ratings post-election. They've crashed. <laughs> All these left-wing kooks on YouTube are hemorrhaging subscribers. Mm -hmm. Where people go, you guys are out of touch. You're not acting. Accurate, you're delusional and people are speaking with their subscription. It's actually amazing to see how these people are burning. Mm. I didn't expect this to be happening. There's few lies, lies upon lies. Now they are rating, scratching, they want to set off MNBC. When you take a look at this tweet, Elon must want to know how much MNBC costs to buy. I will pay to see him walk into Rashemado studio with a famous sing. A lot of people are extremely excited that Elon Musk is proposing to buy MNBC. He started like a joke. We saw the same thing with Twitter when he wanted to buy. He asked how much. The same thing he is doing with this network. People are serious about it. When you go through, you can see that these people are not doing well. Russia, the other day, is in tears because they had to trim her salary to a level she has never experienced and they continue to call out Elon Musk over and over. They cannot get over it because X is actually where people take their news. They don't depend again on the mainstream media. Elon Musk bought X and turned it into a, a you know, the, the social media arm of the MAGA movement. And we all sat there right in the middle of it during the campaign, possibly not realizing that we're sitting there like fat chickens just getting attacked all day and just being part of this MAGA messaging. However, the election's over. Everybody's getting smarter and better. I'm not sure that the right idea is to leave Twitter and just go to Blue Sky, a friendlier place, because then we remain in our echo chambers. I don't think that you should necessarily stay in Twitter every day and battle it out and let yourself doom scroll of all the hate coming at you. But I want to see it. I want to read what's happening there, right? And, and so I think at least staying in those spaces is important because I want to hear the other things. Eddie, you know, you know, John Heilman, it is interesting following up on this Elon Musk point. B. O'Reilly drop a bombshell revealing Comcast want to throw NBC overboard to save NBC from a hateful reality. 
What is your take on it, Stephen A. Smith, for people who haven't seen the show? Well, Bill, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, on the Stephen A. Smith show uh, this this evening, you know, I basically called it out and I said, wait a minute, you know, you you know, you associated him with Nazis. We're going to have to try to mend some uh, cliche fences and you two are going to go in there and you're going to try to tamp it down because Comcast knew the next day they were going to announce that MSNBC is vapor. Some of you might have seen this on this channel. Now, looking at the view, replying to Joy Ryu, um, this psychiatric, I don't know, doctor, Advising people to separate families, this is what they had to say, partaking to that. And to not be around those people and to tell them why. So, yeah. what do you think? I think everybody needs to do what's right for them. And that's okay, you step away. But it will never be the defining point because toxic personalities don't have political affiliation. Um, candidate, uh, you know, President-elect Trump is, is just a different type of candidate. Um, from the things he said and the things he's done and the things he will do, it's more of a moral issue for me. Matt Gates has long denied all allegations. Play that sound for me again with what Oprah Winfrey said. What do you think about all the celebrities with their mass exodus? Over these numbers. $10 million for Beyonce. To make Paris is because they have been paid. Oh, is it true that they paid you a million dollars for the endorsement for Kamala? Not true. No. Bishop Vigano, he says that the... A lot of people were confused about why... The sacrifice... But that's okay, because you know what? Listen, 